Final thoughts, everyone. This has been a tight race for months. I feel like we've been dragged through this. Early voting broke records in some states. People yes. want to have a voice now more than ever. That's the best news about this whole entire process. What are other ways to stay involved? That's my, my goal right now, looking forward. What, what do we do now moving forward as a country? Well, very first thing you can do is tomorrow, Google who's your state legislator, yep. who's your school board member, who's your city councilman, who's your county commissioner, and you can call their office and you can request a meeting and you can start to get to know the people who directly affect your life on a daily basis. Yeah. Right, that's the first thing you can do. Yeah. And I, I think beyond that, you know, if you choose to join either of the two big parties, you should try to be an influence. You shouldn't just be. For years, I was just a card-carrying Democrat. And at some point, I had to start listening to other people. Still doesn't mean I voted away from Democrats, but it means that I now understand the principles of libertarianism. I understand the principles of republicanism. I understand principles, so when I'm communicating with someone, it's an actual communication, Understood. not an argument. Absolutely. Right. And I think Absolutely. we need that. And, and lastly, I think what we need to remember as Americans is that this is our country. You vote people in, people are appointed, but it's all because of your will. This is exactly. the grandest... That's right. This is potentially right. the grandest republic to have ever existed. And Let it can know. keep existing if we realize a republic like a human body grows and it transforms and it becomes something else. So what you guys have to do is stay vigilant about making sure that this country is progressing. We are definitely going to see a female president in our lifetime. We're definitely oh, yes. going to see a president of color. We're going to see the type of Supreme Court appointees that believe in individual rights for women in matters of their body, that will restore a Voters' Rights Act, that will finally tell black people that, hey, man, we don't have to keep mass and laws to make you equal because the Constitution is applicable for everybody, no special provisions, and we're going to get the 13th Amendment amended again to end slavery in this country for real exactly. so that poor people, period, don't keep going to jail on our dollar. Well, and you know, most importantly, we need to respect each other, yes. okay? It's gonna be rough, but we gotta it respect is. each other. Yes. Yes. The booing, the getting upset, you know, I know it's hard, yes. but you know what, y'all? It's love right up yes, in here. Please There's don't forget. else you could do that's better than booing. Yes, and don't forget, united we stand, divided we, we fall. fall. Yes. Exactly. This, at this moment, that's where we live. And if you're looking for ways to get involved in your community, you can also check out nationalservice.gov. There are plenty of projects to choose from, including working with students at local schools and supporting veterans and military families. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Love that. You know, Shout out to my mama. <laughs> yeah. And you know what, like Killer Mike said, you also can get involved with your representatives. They're representing yes. you. You can so write them important. letters, you can call them and see them in person. If you don't know your reps, go to house.gov and senate.gov. Let them know what you're thinking, okay? I mean, thank you so much. Yeah, and thank y'all for having me. I appreciate y'all. Yeah.